Hi, here it is. We're back with another video, ladies and gentlemen. So with that being said, Grand Rising, how y'all doing out there today? Happy Hump Day, aka Happy Wednesday. Now, as y'all coming in, let's not forget to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Make sure you leave a comment below about this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you share this video, okay? Now, once again, I see all the new subscribers coming in. I appreciate y'all that been rocking with me since day one. Much appreciate, respect, and salute to each and every last one of you. Excuse me, same way to the OG subscribers. Salute and much respect to you. So thank you all for rocking with me for all these many months. We are still going up. And with that being said, folks, I'm going to leave you all to please stay tuned at the end of this very video. Now we got that out the way, let's get on with this topic. They really think you losing, but when you moving in silence, you are really winning. Folks, let me tell you something. You got knuckleheads out here thinking that you losing because you not expressing your blessings or your winnings to them. So they think you winning because you not driving in a fancy car. You not living a house on the hill. You're not wearing all these fancy clothes and all this jewelry. You ain't got to have none of that. Still be happy. Still be winning out here. But at the same time, if you do have that, you are not showing it to people because you know why? You are moving in silence. When people think that you losing, they really think you out here losing big time. But as a reality, you are Winning big freaking time. Because people out here like to express themselves by showing people their blessings. And I said this yesterday and I posted this in the community. So check out my community post that I posted yesterday. People really say they're happy for you, but at the same time, they are jealous of you. And that's main facts right there. Plain straight up facts. When you start telling people what you're doing in life, you got this going on. You got this going on. God bless to me with this. God bless to me with that. I'm happy for you. They jealous. But when you don't say nothing, and you let them figure it out, that make up anything. That's to make it seem like you losing. Try to make it like you the bad guy. Try to make you look like you the bad woman. But as reality, they are the bad ones because they not doing that with their lives. But here it is. You out here succeeding. You out here thriving. You you are elevating. You are evolving. And people can't wrap that around a tight little head of theirs. That thick skull they carry around their two shoulders. That because you out here winning, that's something you got to show to everybody. Because everybody ain't going to be happy for you. Everybody out here not doing so hot in life. You got some people on drugs. Drink it, local. Mad at the world. Carrying grudges. Holding grudges against people for I don't know what. But here it is, you ladies and gentlemen. The winner that you are, you are out here succeeding. You are out here that's living stress free. And you thanking God for that because you got so many people out here working at these nine to fives. And they're not happy at their own job. If you're going to do something, make sure you be happy about it. You are making headache money. You are living. No, let me take that back. You are making that stress money. How you can be doing something and you're not enjoying, you're not enjoying doing it. At least enjoy what you are doing. Love what you do. But like I said, when y'all moving in silence, people want to assume that you ain't got nothing going on for yourself. You're not making noises. As they say, watch out for the quiet ones. Because the quiet ones will always fool you. So when y'all move in silence, they think y'all quiet. But at the same time, you got something going on that you're sleeping. People don't know about it. You being humble, you laid back, you cool about it. If you're working at a 9 to 5 job right now, listen to me. If you got some type of business going on, if you got your own LAC, you plan on opening up a business, starting your YouTube channel, 
Let me tell you something. Go home and start on your side hustle. Let people think what they want to think. They think you losing. Let them think that you losing. Let them think all they want to. Because in that little sick, mentally mental, half mind of theirs. They don't want people out here winning. They want people out here losing. When they say that out to the universe, don't you know they're saying that to themselves? And I guess that's why some people like them are scared to look in the mirror because when they look into the mirror, what they see? A failure. When they look at you, they get intimidated. They get jealous because you are a walking mirror on two legs. And every time they look at you, what they see? A failure. That's why people turn their nose up at you. Don't want to speak to you. But that's not your problem. That's not your issue. That's their issue that they need to solve on their own. But people can't even solve their own mystery. But check this. They want to try to solve other people's mysteries. <laughs> By trying to figure you out. Making stuff up in their head. Oh, he losing. He ain't got nothing going on for himself. She losing. She ain't got nothing going on for herself. Yeah, okay. That's what you think. That's what you think. Then they want to ask all these nosy questions. Trying to get some information about you so they can go and twist your words and go tell other people. But, like I said, when you don't tell them nothing, watch how many people go dig up anything just to try to make you look bad. That's because you're moving in silence. And when you move in silence, people don't know your next move. People get scared. They get frightened. Oh, what's his next move? What's her next move? They so shaky. You got these people edge of their seats right now. Sweating. Hand sweating. They shaking right now. You scaring people. Because you're not out here yapping off at the mouth. Telling your blessings. When God bless you, you know what the deal is. You know when to be quiet. And you know when not to be quiet. But in this case right here. You moving in silence because you know once you tell the plan, you plan to fail. And that's what's wrong with people these days. They're so quick to tell, they're so quick to tell people what they got going on. Yo, look what I got. Yo, look what I got. I got this. I got that going on. And people looking at them, me mugging. They don't know. They got plans, wicked plans up their head. And you don't know what other people are thinking out here these days. They can think about robbing you. Stealing from you. You don't know how sick money of these people is. You don't know you got a lunatic falling behind you while you're driving. Let me tell you how sick people are. You could be driving in your car. And when you don't look at your rear mirror, somebody right there in your rear mirror could be following you. And could follow you to your house and try to rob you. Y'all got to be mindful of that now. Come on now. Be careful. Be careful regardless. Be careful who you surround yourself with. Be careful who you call it friends. Be careful who you spread your personal information to. Because like I said, we got some sick-minded people out here. Working for the enemy. You don't know what people to wish is all towards you. They can sit up here and try to play it all that. Well, I'm happy for you. But the whole time, they're looking at you like competition. They're looking at you like they want to do something harmful to you. Something very evil. That's why I'm telling you all right now. Stop telling people what you got going on. When God put a vision in your life, don't, don't say a word. Be quiet. Hush. Zip your lips. Because once you tell that blessing, that blessing is going to get... That blessing will get taken away from you. God put that blessing on your doorstep. He ain't put it on nobody else's doorstep. Just like when the Amazon people or DoorDash put something on your porch. It was meant for you. Not your next door neighbor or somebody else around the block. It was meant for you. So why you want to go out here and show your other neighbors your other package? It doesn't make sense. Come on, y'all. Move in silence out here. People don't got to know a doggone thing about you. The only thing they know about is the type of clothes you got on. 
That's the only thing they got to know. Oh, and your name. But other than that, they ain't got to know a doggone thing. You stay silent out here. You keep winning. If people think you losing, let, let them class think what they want to think. Because clowns will dig up anything just to make you look bad. I'm going to spread his name around because I don't like him for no prayer reason. So you don't like him because he living his life? So what what type of sense is that? You don't like her because she not paying you no mind? She out here doing her thing? And she ain't got to show up and shake her behind like you do? Ladies, you going to have so many hoochie mamas competing with y'all. It's not even funny. You see, they got to shake that behind to get some attention. But when it comes down to weird women like y'all, shout out to the weird queens. Must salute. Y'all ain't got to do that. Y'all come to the scene. Y'all keep it real. Y'all got that old school type of lady style. Y'all got them 70s, them 80s, them 90 vibes. That's why I like. You're not, you're not out here shaking your tail like you don't love the hip hop or something. That's trashy women. I'm sorry. I just had to say it. But with you ladies, let me say that. When you queens are moving in silence, you're going to have hoochie mamas. Trying to compete with you. Thinking that you're losing. But y'all ladies, aka real queens, are moving in silence. So let them silly girls, whatever they call themselves, let them think what they want to think, ladies. Because you are the real deal. God is blessing you right now, ladies. And he's going to continue to bless you. So let them hoochie mamas think what they want to think. Let them yap at the mouth. Oh, don't get a boyfriend. Lord have mercy. They're going to talk then. Girl, I can't stand her. Look, her, she got a man now. I bet I can take him. Oh, no, you can't. Because we men don't like trashy women. And if you try to do something, guess what? He going to tell his woman. So don't hoot your mama. They about to stop it. Before they end up digging a pit for their own selves. But ladies, they don't think that you're losing. But you're just moving in silence. They are afraid, intimidated by your next move. Let them. Let them be scared. Fellas. You're going to have other men. Insecure, but hurt, weak men, fellas. Trying to compete with you. And let me say this, fellas. Only weak, insecure, but hurt men will compete with other men. As a matter of fact, fellas, back me up on this. If another guy trying to compete with another guy or worry about what another guy got going on, don't they make him look like he a little, you know what? I ain't going to say it, but y'all yeah, know what I'm talking about. But this is so, so pathetic. When another guy competing with you, but at the same time, you so busy doing your own thing. You busy moving in silence. These knucklehead Tyrones, Craig, Ray Ray, whatever you want to call them, Bam Bam, Tam Tam, whatever you want to call them, Tom Tom, trying to compete with you because you probably smooth, you cool with it, you got a smooth voice or something, I don't know. There's something about you, fellas, I don't know. But women love that, and when they see that, don't you know they get in their feelings? They get butt hurt. And like I said, you ain't doing nothing but moving in silence, focusing on your own thing. You're not out here chasing women. Oh, don't let you get a uh, a good woman, fellas. They come to the knucklehead Tyrone. Bro, I think he all that. Yeah, bro, look at him. He think he all that. Getting all the women. Huh. I bet I could take this woman. Oh, no, you can't. Because you will get your behind kick. Spiritually. And as a matter of fact, real women cannot be taken away. Only hoochie moms can get taken away, but a real woman, a real queen, can't get taken away. But this is going to happen, fellas. So, ladies and gentlemen, y'all be prepared for this. Don't say I didn't warn you. When y'all moving in silence, people is going to try their best to try to compete with you. Then when that don't work, the lies. Time out, you losing. This happened to you. That happened to you. Ain't nothing happened to you. 
They mad because they can't compete with you. They mad because you're not out here spreading your business to them. They so used to other people telling them their business. But to you, you smart. You book smart and you're street smart. You not finna tell these people your business so they're gonna go try to twist your words around and make you look like you a fool. Mm-mm. Even when you remove yourself from, from these folks, they still worrying about you because that's how powerful your presence is or were. Once you move away from these people, they still going to be talking about you. They still going to be worrying about you. And guess what your mindset going to be at? Winning. You're going to be winning, ladies and gentlemen. And you're going to be winning big freaking time because you know why? You got the keys. You got the keys to victory. And what they got? Nothing. They ain't got nothing going on with their own lives. Trying to keep up with you. Trying to keep tabs on you. Monitoring your life. But let me say this too. That because you post pictures and stuff on social media doesn't make... It doesn't make you like you real or something. And by saying that because some people live their life on social media. Competing with other people on social media. On the freaking app. Like how, that, That's stupid. That is so mentally challenged, stupid to me. Competing with somebody on the internet. That because somebody posts these little pictures on the internet, doesn't mean they live in that type of lifestyle. People got a different life outside of social media. And what these dummies don't realize is, that because you're on social media, doesn't mean social media is your real life. You got people out here Trying to compete with other people on the internet. <laughs> Stupid. But when you're moving in silence and you're not doing everything on social media, you're not posting your business out on social media, people are going to get very curious about you, folks. When I say curious, they're going to get curious than the curious George the monkey. Y'all going to have Fred, Daphne, Velma Shaggy, and Scooby Doo, and Scrappy Doo trying to solve a mystery about you because y'all are so low key. People, everybody want to know about you. Hell, see at what's that TV show? Criminal Minds and CSI want to know about you. They think you some type of criminal or something because you're so smooth, you're so laid back. But like I said, they're going to intimidate people. It's going to hurt people's feelings. But hey, it is what it is. Long as you know what you got going on, and long as you know God is blessing you, them knuckleheads and God know a doggone thing about you. So, y'all let them talk, let them assume, let them make a jackass out of themselves, because that's exactly what they are. A part of a donkey's behind, and a stinky, funky behind of a donkey. Or, a stinky, funky behind of a skunk. Because these type of people are trying to compete with you. P.U., they funky. We ain't talking about disco. Funk either. We talking about funky like take a bath, take a shower type of funk. The world would be a better place if people were minding their own business. But since people are so nosy and want to compete with you and want to know what you got going on with your life, they're going to create chaos. But chaos is going to come right back and bite them. They're going to bite them like a dog. It's going to bite them like an alligator. Now, I'm not wishing that on nobody, but that type of energy you're putting out into the world, eventually it's going to come back to you. As they say, you reap with your soul. Good or bad, you reap with your soul. So, folks, I'm telling you all right now, you must move in silence no matter what. If you're struggling, move in silence. If you win it, move in silence. Move in silence. Don't tell nobody nothing. Nada. Don't tell them a doggone thing. Let them assume. Let them think what they want to think. But like I said, as long as God blessing you and you living healthy, you eating the right food, you're working out, you're reading books, you're doing all right. No, you're doing more than all right. You are doing terrific. You are brilliant. Bring it. That's what I meant to say. You are bring it. 
you're doing an awesome job out here. And you know you're doing good when you got people all up in your business, trying to see what you got going on, trying to compete with you. You know you're doing something, right? You know this. So with that being said, keep doing your thing. You are doing a terrific job, ladies and gentlemen. I'm proud of you. Keep it up. Let's get it.